hi guys welcome back to the second part of cost of production and in this one we are going to be talking about what you can do to reduce cost of production what you have to know is to reduce cost of action you have to make sure you use a lot of free stuff make sure you limit you minimize the use of money on your farm in your business so the first thing you can do to reduce is use rainwater use free water like those in the villages of course they don't really buy water they use um wells they use boreholes but people in the towns we use tap water so utilize rainwater if you built a hatch like um, a shed and then you're rearing your rabbits there or all your other animals use rain gutters and get a drum where you can collect your water so that at least in the rainy seasons you don't have to buy water that reduces on the cost of production then um utilize weeds grass hair those things are free just go in the garden and cut and then feed your rabbits so that you don't have to feed too much uh, commercial feeds i know some people we talked about this and they're like if you think like that how are you gonna get the 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 cages that you need in time you can because trust me rabbits in the wild don't eat penis they don't eat commercial feeds and yet you find them really growing so in those grass the weeds that we feed your the rabbits some of us we just don't know the nutrition content that they have but there are those that pattern them there are those that give them calcium there are those that trust me they are all balanced if you just know what to pick but of course if you're doing a commercial business and a um, really large scale you can't rely on only weeds okay and free stuff but like don't lose the point here the point here is reduced on the cost of production by feeding these two okay the free things the free grass the free weed the free hay on top of your commercial feeds Inst a person who feeds exclusively commercial feeds will have a higher cost of production than you who feeds commercial feeds and other free feeds okay then um if you're close to a market you go to the market and utilize the cabbages me i, I pass by markets eh? you find a heap of cabbages like thrown away like these um outside leaves of cabbages they just remove them and pile them there just get them wash them in water with salt then you wilt them once they are wilted you feed your animals so once in a while you don't have to buy food all the time utilize all those things i'll make a video about other things that you can feed your rabbits apart from weeds free things and um there are those who have gardens okay if you have gardens you have access to um sweet potato vines you have access to maize stalks you have access to guinnet leaves even beans you can feed all those things beans the leaves don't feed beans like don't feed the, the real like beans to the rabbit never do that but they eat the leaves you can feed the leaves and the stalk there's a lot you can get from the garden you can use banana peeling you will the banana peelings and you feed your rabbits another thing that you can do to reduce on cost of production is maintain a clean environment if you don't maintain a clean environment your rabbits are going to become sick when they become sick you spend on medication hence increasing cost of production so if you make sure everything is clean you will have very few or no diseases at all you can spend a whole year with just one two three minor diseases and then there are people who have had rabbits for just a short time and they're like my rabbit has this problem my rabbit has this problem dirty environments bring a lot of diseases so make sure your bed cages are clean and you will chase away diseases hence reducing on the cost of production all right guys thanks for watching this video i hope it was useful to you share with a friend if you want them to also know what you've learned subscribe like the videos and you guys should comment you should comment and let me know where i've gone wrong comment uh, let me know what you want me to talk about next so let me know where you want me to throw more light otherwise thank you and stay blessed